How you doing? How you been? What's going on? What's good? How you getting in? Everybody getting a fuzz? What's going on, people? people? It is a day of another day of another day we call Wednesday. Anybody been said, what's going to be people's body doing everything as far as being safe on this Wednesday? Everyone out. You know, this is one of them days why I woke up and, you know, always having problems with what you already know and I have a lot on my mind. I'm the kind of person that, like, do these videos and I'm editing them then I go to sleep and I'm editing them while I'm sleeping. Have you ever went to sleep and you're still at work and you're supposed to be sleeping but you're actually working and working and then you wake up and say, oh my god, I'm... I haven't been asleep. Now, I'm suffering from insomnia, but you already know. Um, this is going on for a few months now and stuff. A lot of things have been bothering me on my mind and stuff like that. Things are not as going exactly what I wanted to. But at the end of the day, that's what it is. And I still try to fight through. <sighs> that's this thing called life, you know. You know, and the thing about it is, like, I went to sleep and stuff, and I was, like, really overrated. I'm the kind of person who really can't be and stuff. Like, I know how I am, you know what I mean? Like, I love too hard. I care too hard much. I love people. Like, if I love you, I really love you. And I'll never really feel like they really love you like you love them, you know what I mean? So it's like, well, one person, God bless them, been sticking in my corner. You know, and you already know who that is. But the, basically, you know, I got new people that's coming to my life as well. But, you know, it's one person that basically you know, been in my corner, and I know one makes better than them, right, but it's just it's a lot of different things and stuff that stay in my mind and stuff, you know, clearly, you know, your big sister's not perfect, I got flaws, I mess up more, you think you mess up, I can really mess up, and um, I wishy-washy, I change my hair all the time whenever I'm upset, would you say I'm another hair stop with me, you know, um, this is the thing with me. I realized something my whole life I've been doing. I've been basically hiding away from the world. You know, and I don't know if you've done this before, but then me, I wear hats, I wear shades, I'm going to go outside, I'm covered up, I'm covered up. I stay covered up because of the fact that, like I said before, people have no problem walking up to me, and I don't know if anybody experienced this, but if you have, I know you understand where I'm coming from. People have no problem coming up, coming up to me, people have no problem talking to me. When they see me, you would think that we were together. And we're not, and it's like I'm not a mean person. You know, I, sometimes I wish I was that mean spirit, like get away from me, you know. But I'm like, when they say something to me, I'll, you know, before I know it, already the smiles, and you know, a smile is very welcoming and stuff. And you know, I, I'm smiling while I'm talking to them. They, they see me smile, they smile back at me, and oh, sometimes I hate myself. <laughs> Like, I love people, like, I love all kinds of people, but, but that's just me and stuff, but everybody don't love me, but clearly. And the thing about it is that, like, but today I got up this morning, I was like, you know what, I'm tired. Like, I'm just, I'm so disappointed in so many things in life and stuff, and I was like, you know what, I'm just going to get out of bed, and I'm going to go to the store, and I'm going to come back, and I, look, it is what it is. You know, and at the end of the day, you know, you got to do that, that you know, that, that game, you know. Mm. But I was like, I have my... Um, pajamas on and stuff, pajamas. I had my pajamas on I was going outside. I was like, you know what? Before you walk outside the door with your pajamas on and your t-shirt raving, and you know it's cold now, suppose somebody will fight you. You know, you, you ain't your, you ain't your feelings, you know, and some everybody was over to beat your ass and you got on pajamas. You know, and I know I shouldn't think that about all the time, but due to the fact that I know the world, it's been in my experiences as far as me, my experience is not about everybody. Everybody has a different experience. I'm not saying what you go through. I, I'm just saying for the record, sometimes people like to make their story about their story, my story about them when it comes down to that, and it's my story. So anyway, so I go outside and I'm like, you know, I'm walking and everything, and you know, I got on big sweatpants. You know, I'm just like, first of all, I do not like dressing like this, and the reason why I can't stand up and touch me when I go in front of you, you know, just look, you, you know, you don't see it at all. Sometimes I just don't care. Sometimes I just don't like whatever. I like clothes that are very baggy. I like clothes that are very big. But due to the fact I'm tall, due to the fact I got a little bit curves, everything makes me look very bigger than big. Like I'm just borderline blow up. And you know what I mean? So the thing is that I went out, um, 
went on down the street and walked down the street. He had like this, he was like keep a hat on. I was like, you know what? This big old hand, you know you got the finger, you got the finger through this hair before you go out there with this nut bush. So I'm walking down she look, it's 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 going like this and my piece is gone in and I'm just walking, put my shades on, you know my daughter's gonna have my shades on. <laughs> no matter how much stress they get, I got my shades on. Because I don't like I don't like people looking at my face and people just like them. You know, when the thing about it, it's never would be somebody that just glints, but they don't, you know, they don't glints, they just, I'm like, oh my God. And the thing about it, you know, people don't, people want to do things to you, but they don't want you to react and stuff. So here it is, I'm walking down the streets and stuff, and people who, you know, this is the thing, I'm always covered up, so people around the box are like, who the fuck is this? You know, because I'm, I'm always covered up, because I do not like to interact with people, and I do not want to meet anybody, and do not want to find anything. Oh, by the way, do you know, I don't really care, I'm not doing a summit, I'm not doing a, essay I'm not doing a just what's in your neighborhood fill out this form I don't give up mm. so the thing is I'm walking down the street and everything you know I went to the store you know to get my baby oil because the mother likes to take baths so I soak in baby oil and stuff like that and the thing is I went on to the store because I get some glue you know for my opala so the thing is I went to the store and everything and I walked inside this is how I know I hide myself so much away from society and stuff because this is the thing I went inside the store and the store owner said, Oh my God, Raven, I didn't know that was you. <laughs> now she always called me the best customer, best customer, best customer. You know what that means? That means you spend too much money. And um, she was like, best, you know, so I was like, oh my God. She said, oh my God, your hair looks nice. Your hair looks nice. I said, thank you. She said, your hair always looks nice. I said, thank you. You know, and I was like, well, I'll just come to get some, you know, from my Ubala. You know, I could keep the tragedy going. So anyway, I left out the store and stuff like that. You know, laugh at her and, you know, um, went on down to the um, lot less. Get there, you know, you got to get your meats and your juices, honey. You know, you got to get your food for that night time. You're in the bed crying because you ain't got no man. <laughs> you know, ain't nothing. Listen, I'm, call me what you want, but when I'm crying, honey, I'm eating and crying. Right? Most people just cry and just fall on the ground. Honey, I'm... Um, <laughs> anyway. So the thing about it is, I went into the store and stuff like that, and I get there, and I was like, okay. So people looked at me and looked, you know, I'm in the store. I'm in the store all the time, but I stay covered up. Like, I do not want to be bothered. I'm covered up and stuff. So anyway, go inside the store, and the guy looked back at me and stuff. And so I went long. You know, you get long, you walk into the line. Now, with me, myself, I notice people. I always look at, look loose, look loose at people who, like, kind of walk up and do like this, and then they go. And look, and you standing here like this, and they doing this to look back at you. And you standing like this. And the thing about me is, like, I don't turn away. I'm like this, right? You think? And then they go. <laughs> Can you imagine? I was trying to say, excuse me, is there a problem? You know, but then they go, oh! But then the thing is that, so. Get to the store, stand inside the line and stuff like this. Guy says to me, like, how you doing? Say, say so goes, your hair look nice. Says, Thank you. Says, now remind you, he's like this. And I'm looking at him like this. And he says, <laughs> I said, oh yeah, no, I don't have on heels. I am actually tall, you know. And it, no, I didn't say, of course, you didn't say anything because I'm a big punk. I don't say nothing. The only time I say something to my phone, so. My life is on the line, your mother has to react, you know, I got to start swinging. You know, and the thing about it is that I sit up in everything and I was like, okay, fine, sit so up there. He was like, well, you can go in front of me. I was like, but you only got one item. I'm carrying bags and stuff for the fat girl squad. The fat girl ain't got no man. This is fat girl ain't got no man. Groceries in here, you know, fat, you know. So anyway, so I got my stuff and I goes, hey, you know, hi. I don't know if she recognized me now, but I was, whenever she bagged myself, I was holding the bag for her. You know, so she don't make it too heavy on her and stuff. So I hold the bag and she said, thank you. So I got the store and I left and stuff like that. And he's outside. The guy was standing in front. So I've been waiting at the, um, you know, the door. And I walked out. He was like this. He's like, you need help with your bags? I was like, mm-mm. So I just came on home and stuff. And I was like, you know, it was a very interesting day. Because normally I stay covered up. But I noticed that I hide myself away from the world. And I wanted to ask you that question. Do you notice that when you go out the house, you have a hat on or have shades on and stuff like that, but you're not the person to just walk at the door, you know, as Reverend to just regular clothes, like you just got to be covered up, like you just got to have something on you that's hiding yourself, shield away from the world. I want to know if you're going to do the same thing that I do as far as that. I would love to hear your feedback on this. 
It was bedtime. Hope you have a safe day. I love you. I love you. And I want to thank you for watching Kept 3. We even come here for a minute. Can you wait to the camera, girl? Okay!